co-curators of this exhibition, which is opening today uh, here in Manchester. On what's the day today? It's the seventh day. It's the seventh day. No, it's the ninth day. It's the seventh month. It's the eleventh uh, year. It's the second decade. Uh, actually, it's the first century, and it's the third millennium. Well, there are eleven rooms. Most of the rooms have even doors, so you can close them. Each room was given to an artist to conceive a piece where a human body or several human bodies were on display. So for the next nine days you have 11 rooms, you enter the room and what you see, the artwork is always, the material is always a human body. Yes, I mean, the idea is that one can stroll, you know, and I mean, yeah. it's important that there isn't a kind of a linearity in it. One is free to go in the rooms and, and find one's own sequence. When you normally walk, walk through a museum, of course, you don't have doors. You're not opening a door from one room to the other. So just by reintroducing doors into a sequence of rooms makes it much more private. Only already by opening the door and entering, you participate, participate much more actively than just walking into a room that anyway has no door. There is one room where a person is just floating on the wall. It's a piece by Marina Abramovic, Zhuzhen next door, a person miraculously floating without gravity in the room, leaning back with the hair going down. Then very interactive pieces like Alora Calzadia, the artist duo, they conceived a human revolving door. speak about Lava Lima, the project where you experience a space which is only 49 centimeters high and actually the visitor has to go basically also to crouch in order to see it. My name is Lucy Raven. My piece is called What Manchester Does Today, The Rest of the World Does Tomorrow. Um, my piece is a player piano playing a song by the American band LCD Sound System called Dance Yourself Clean and the song's been transcribed by the jazz pianist Jason Moran in three different variations. And so there's an operator in the room who acts as a performer doing what a machine usually does and the machine, the player piano, is doing what the person usually does. But there are a lot of different layers of performers who've gone into making the roles. So LCD sound system, Jason Moran, and then the fellow who punched the roles, and he's one of six remaining pianola punchers left in the world. When you walk into the Roman Ondax, there's a person performing the piece, sitting at a table, and you can basically swap an object. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, my name is Simon Fujiwara. And my piece involves a man lying in a bed and he's reading from a book, a book of saints. And um, the idea is that on one level it appears to be kind of autobiographical. It's a history of the saints called Simon. The uh, actors themselves are called Simon in real life. But it slowly revealed that none of these points that appear to be important are important at all. It's a kind of absurd psychological babble. It's a very voyeuristic experience. It's like watching your partner or someone you may be know well sleeping in the bed or reading in a bed um, and what the thoughts go through in their mind when they're doing that except here they're speaking them out loud. It is an interesting tension that this exhibition is, is placing between having a gallery exhibition but then opening it up to a certain theatricality. Today, looking at the show, we have many more ideas of rooms, and you know, so already for the next venue, we've got lots of additional rooms, so the, the house is growing. Thank you very much, Brilliant.